So, just in case this goes anywhere, this is Middle Earth Shadow of War. This is the any percent Act One category. My name is Rock and Gaming AU. I'm currently the second place holder in this category. And time begins as soon as Talion says, "I will find you." Just now. Okay. So I like the mitigation strategy I have here of going for this jump. It's a little tiny slow if you do actually get the big jump, but it's it's much much faster if you get the slow jump. I wonder if I should just go for the big boy jump every time and just if I don't get it reset. But I don't want to reset like 20 seconds because I lose half a second. That just feels bad. But not getting the big boy jump kind of just sucks. Anyway, let's get this run under lights. Um, I'm just, I did say I was going to say it a lot this run and I'm going to continue saying it. Oh, my camera's a little bit out of sync. Okay, interesting. Um, this is the first night that I'm actually running in the French language, so a lot of my audio cues I'm still relearning at the moment. And I'm going to probably laugh a little bit because the lines just sound so different in French. And French turns out to be the fastest language. Portuguese is basically the same, like it's within a second. Um, but yeah, it only saves about, it didn't save as much time as I thought it did. Um, but it's enough to actually warrant wanting to do this, wanting to run it in French. It, it saves less than a minute in the three hour category. Okay, so I don't have a lot of focus here. There we go. So I'm probably going to have to end up peasant running here unless I get a free boost like that. Good, got it. Okay. Cool. Don't have to peasant run this, so that's great. And peasant run is running without the sprint here, which comes from the... Uh... Sorry, Sharibo, I keep giggling to myself because I keep seeing your line about Tark in uh, French. Also, Wraith is Spectre in French, and that just sounds too much like Spectacles. And I keep thinking he's saying Spectacles, not Spectre. I don't know if that's just my my hearing of it, but yeah. Didn't get the edge skip. Unfortunately not, so... Still a really good time for that fight though. 2.46 is awesome for that fight. And I have enough focus to come up here, so that's great. Good, good. Uh, okay. That was a real wow. That was one of the fastest I've ever gotten through that section before. Unfortunately, we're out of focus here, so I kind of just have to pairs and walk up here, which does eat a little bit of my time. I can't stealth there because I shot two of the normal guards. I alerted too many orcs to my presence. Um, okay, well that was that was still relatively fast, even though I didn't kill the orc. I need to get in front of Idril here because she does slow down. If we're behind her, and now that I'm ahead of her, I can let my focus recharge. Because if I get too far away from her, did I say Gondor? Da instead of Gondor. Um, I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. It sounds kind of like they're saying Gondar. You're right now that I've heard it. Thank you for pointing that out because now that's all I'm ever going to hear. Um, need to really focus on these shots. Well, ideally, I'm getting kills here. I'm not, which is a shame. I'm gonna go here because these guys are injured because they're all the guys that are shot. 
And now we're going to put our big boy pants on and we're not going to pick up. Wow, am I going fast. I shouldn't... Oh, I need to slow down because otherwise I will fail the mission. But that is super fast for all these areas. I'm out of focus anyway, so it's not like I can sprint, but that's still really fast. Leaves aren't great. Come on, guys. Come and fight me. You want to fight me, guys? Trust me. You want to fight me? God, that was close. Wow, that was fast. That was so fast. That was actually really close to the fastest anyone's ever done that. I believe a 541 is the fastest anyone's ever done that. But that being said, I have a faster load, so take 5-10 seconds off that. And it's really not that fast. But that felt fast for me. That's definitely the fastest I've ever gone. Ah, uh, I didn't get the big boy jump though, so that's unfortunate. Thank you, Trip D92. Um, it's nice to have that, like, that's, that's super fast. Still not used to that audio prompt yet. Purify. Purify is purify. 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 Too far. New mouse. I'm overshooting uh, the turn there a little bit. Mais certains vestiges de Voici mes galgal que j'ai caché à Sauron. Là-bas, je te montrerai pourquoi nous devons. So, hopefully I get a really good um, spawn on Shadows of the Past and I can do this in under 9 minutes. That's that's the real benchmark here, getting Shadows of the Past under 9 minutes. I'm stuck in a skew a little bit, I'm running to the right slightly. Happens very rarely in this game, it's just more annoying. Uh, oh, lost half a second there because I didn't go into Wraith World early enough. Okay, so we beg for good orc spawns here, plus good planning for me. This cleave is not that, that one's okay still. As long as we're sort of cleaving at least three, four guys here, we're okay. Um, that was pretty quick. That wasn't the quickest that's ever gone, but that was pretty quick. Doesn't actually matter if we get the objective here, but I just like doing it for practice. Yeah, that was, no, that was, wow, that was a lot quicker than I thought it was. Holy moly, I wanted like under 8.30, eight, uh, 9 minutes, that's nearly under 8.30. Good job, didn't turn my mouse enough there. I wonder if it actually is worth just equipping that gem, because we're not going to use the XP gem in this, this version of the run, so why not equip it and get better drops? Because that's what a white gem does in weapons. In the any percent category, we actually need the XP, um, and since we don't face a captain between here and the time we actually put that gem in the armor, there's no point putting it in the sword. Let's see how these spawns are going. Okay, so that one. Unfortunately, that just didn't go well. Uh, we 
we did not kill this guy either, apparently. So he's on fire now, he should die. We can head down here. That could have been better. That could have been really better. So, ideally we kill everyone in the explosion then. Um, the other issue is I'm out of focus here, so I'm going to have a peasant run. Still going to outrange neutral here, but we should be able to just run straight in. Yep, cool. Wow, 10-11. That's the fastest I've ever got here by, by a lot. I think the fastest I've ever got here normally is 10-26. Oh, missed that shot. One extra arrow shot there is kind of annoying. And I got the bad shot. Damn it. Oh good. So we always go for this shot here first. Uh, that one there. Cool. Got 20 in one shot. Which forms this guy. Uh, that shot felt low. Yeah, I missed. I don't know why that went low, but it did. That's a shame. Losing like six seconds there. So we use Elven Rage to skip a animation there of running and falling. And since we're going to get it back anyway. Power through here, get this last box. Run directly up to this part of the wall. And our focus should come back now. Yep, perfect. Okay. All right, Space Case, Gerald Peter, thank you very much for tuning in, and have fun at work, as hopefully your, your, your job is uh, enjoyable to you, because I can't imagine working in a job where I didn't enjoy it at least a little bit. So I hope yours is enjoying it for you, man. Cool. Yeah, under 13, definitely. That's that, that was my goal. Might lose a tiny bit of time here, I think. Just because I had to take that extra shot, but good. Oh, good. Yeah, so a tiny bit of time. About 8, eight to 10 seconds, I'd say. No, we don't need to do inventory in this run. It's only category. It's only character. Uh, quests to travel. That's pretty quick. Happy with that. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me for coughing there. As I said, I'm still not 100%. So, just gonna throw a throat lozenger in. Hopefully, it doesn't affect my speak too much. Damn, that Grog is there. So in this category, that Grog actually being out is a bad thing, because you can completely avoid um, Grog encounters. Oh uh, yeah, looking good so far. Still obviously quite a lot of the category left, but uh, looking good so far. Oh, uh, where is it? There it is. Um, not quite sure what you're getting at there, Shrew, mate. It's not what you have done does it not matter, it's who you are. Uh, no caribou spawn there is annoying. I love the ragdoll physics kicking in there. Okay, so... Downside is I don't have a lot of focus here. 
I need to get every single one of these jumps perfect, including the one off the signpost here that I hate. Got it. Okay, cool. Good. Means I will have focus for the next bit. And roll to get into the cutscene. And by now our focus should be fully back and we can just take off swimming. Oh, you're only going to the character, not the inventory. Yeah. <laughs> yes, now I understand what you mean. Um, I don't have any arrows here. Interesting. Because I use all my arrows on the orcs, that's why we... That's why we, uh, save an arrow. I was like, why do we only use four arrows here instead of five? That's why. So that's a mistake there. Seule une lame de Morgul a pu causer ses blessures. Nous sommes sur la bonne voie. Il est mort depuis un certain temps. Nous devons être plus rapides si nous voulons rattraper l'assassin. Uh, I'm just going to try moving straight away in French and see if that works. Because I know this bit's a little bit faster in French. Yes, it is. Okay, so you can move straight away there, basically. That's cool. Oui, Castamir est le seul à savoir où se trouve le palantir. Une fois toutes les plaies causées par une lame de mort, comme le récédent, c'est un cas de récédent. Excuse me, gentlemen, coming through. Galum devrait savoir où est la prochaine cible. J'ai trouvé un autre hook. Son cadavre est encore chaud. Tout prêt. Oh, I dislike French Golem so much. French Golem is not my jam. Alright, here I'm actually going to have to get both of these boosts, free boosts here, because I'm really low on focus. Alright, it's X, then it's escape. X space escape there. Let's hope we can do this fight a little bit cleaner than last time. Oh no, that's not great. I still got the stealth on him, that's all that matters. Oh, that push back there is not great, but that's okay. Not worth the collect. It doesn't actually save time though, I'm not. Cool, that was much faster. Um, but unfortunately, no sword drop. So, sword drop there would have been really good. Um, sword drop in the arena is obviously what we're really aiming for, but uh, not the arena, the um, rain of arrows. Uh, that was definitely the wrong button there. But that's okay, it doesn't matter. Don't need that arrow. Thankfully, the fireplace still stays. Okay, I don't need any of these free boosts anymore. I can just run straight to the objective. Baranor. Baranor. I like Baranor's voice in French. I like that. That is a really good, solid French voice. Cool. Got that puzzle straight away. Not that that's actually that much of a puzzle, but it's, uh... Yeah, an annoying one. Cool, got the free boost off him, which means my focus comes back. Unfortunately, we haven't seen a Karagor this run, so this will turn around. So there's a chance I don't get a stealth. Based on that. Yeah. 
So we don't get stealth based on the fact that uh, the Caragor knocked him off because it violently turned around. Um, Days, so I'm going to go for a few strikes here before going back to uh, punch. Arrowproof, apparently. And that's really not great because he's also a tank, so there's a small chance he's got um, death defying. It's really small at this, at this level, but it's not impossible. And it's death defying. Yep. So there's RNG taken away again. That's okay. So that's about a 20 second time loss, I want to say. Uh, but getting a bow is nice if I can pick it up. Apparently, I couldn't pick it up from that angle, even though I was pressing the button to pick it up. Il plaint presque le chef de guerre qu'on traque. Il va se sentir seul sur ses gardes du corps. Il ne tardera pas à les rejoindre. Oh, that's rough. I feel okay. Uh, no, I'm locked in place. I'm gonna go for that bow still. I think it's worth it. That should be a six shotter. Yes, it's a six shot. So that's actually really important later on. Uh, that should be enough there. Yep, I'm happy with that. That amount of kills. And as long as we get the rest of the boost in here, we're okay in terms of focus. So I'll we'll use one charge of focus here to get to this rock. That Olag's in a really awkward position. Why are there mines all through here? There are never normally mines, but that's okay. If we're sprinting, we can go through mines. Um, there's probably mines in there because there's probably a captain in there that I didn't say just as a reference, but yeah, normally there's not mines in there, but RNG is RNG in this game. Oh, that was close. I bumped and I jumped over the rock. That's the worst of the two. Je veux aider, car ce chef de guerre ne se laissera pas faire. Nous en avons déjà vaincu, Roder. Je n'ai rien contre une lame de plus. Alors nous l'éliminerons ensemble. Je commence par les archers. Envoyez vos hommes quand la voie sera libre. Okay, that arch is in a much better spot than last time. Oh, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I'll read your message at the moment, Shreva, sorry mate. I uh, didn't kill that all, damn. So I lost the 80% the chance there. Oh, that was that amount of time, basically. I love the two orcs in the background after you kill the bodyguard. Just continuing. Yeah, they're like, basically, they're like, oh, if, if he doesn't see us, if we just keep working, he won't see us, it's okay, it's okay. It's like the most nervous, like, you know, we have to keep working, otherwise the Grave Walker's gonna kill us. Um, I love it, yeah. It's great, isn't it? Alright, so this time we don't want to clip this book, we want to come straight up this bit here. Perfect. That's how we save time on the climb here. Okay. If he can't see, if we can't see him, he can't see us. Yep, that's exactly it. We'll just keep working. It's okay. It's okay. God, that sounds aggressive, Baradol. I think I hit him in the leg. I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna risk it. Yeah, 
I didn't hit him in the leg, but that's okay. Oh, fear of execution. That is really handy. No, no, no. Just focus on this guy. Can I get over to that sword in time? I don't think I can. Definitely not. Much better. Uh, I'm still going to have to go back for that sword though. Where are we? Ah, uh, there we are. Oh, that was not good. 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 Oh, that was not that I took off running in the wrong direction for four, four or five seconds. Um, so that's bad, because now I'm going to probably run out of focus during this run. It's a grave war, but everyone look busy. Yep. Definitely enough people here. Um, unfortunately, there's an orc who might cap and might scream at me. No. Oh, French Golem. French Golem, man. See me there that was walking. Okay, that's a much better approach so far. And last time, I'm gonna summon the boys in a second and get around this corner. Miss the boys. Coming down here. Uh, apparently try to consume that rat. Oh, I don't have enough focus again. Damn it. That's really bad. Alright, uh, what can we do here? Think about it for a second. Alright, we can go around and quickly kill the Karagor, and that should give us enough. Um, and he's got a curse weapon, and that's not great. If he hits me once with that, I'll lose all my Elven Rage. Hmm. <laughs> that's it. So, no want a bow. Hopefully he's not out. Ah, I didn't get a pin on him. I hit him in the thigh rather than the, uh, rather than the foot. If you hit him in the foot, you can avoid the lines. Still relatively fast. Could have been faster. This is a really weird camera angle. Uh, could have been faster. Still pretty fast. Much more happy with this fight than the last one. So this can still be improved by having full Elven Rage before we get to this guy. And actually hitting him in the foot and avoiding his line. Which would, would have been really good. Uh, 
this one. Quests. Uh, uh, map. Forty second fast travel there. And we need to level up. Uh, I never leveled up pinning. That's why. I can't pin anyone because I never leveled up pinning. Um, I just realised I never leveled. That's okay. Character. Yeah. So, don't even have pinning as an ability. I was like, I don't remember leveling, man. Oh, now that it doesn't matter, I get the fast jump there. That would explain why I kept felt like I was hitting the pins, but I definitely wasn't getting them. That would explain everything right there. Okay. That was a silly mistake to make. Il semble croire aux chances de leur champion, et pour être honnête, il est plutôt massif. Certes. Come on, give me the give me the quick line again. Damn it, that is the slowest out of the three lines he can deliver. Days too, that's great. <laughs> Perfect. That was actually a, that was one of the best fights I've ever had then from the first O lag, because we were standing directly on the spot we needed to be. He was day straight away. Now we hope for really good uh, RNG with the next two captains. We don't want any archers. That's an archer. Now the reason why we don't want any archers is because archers have really high perception and the chances are we can't stealth them. Um, and if we can't stealth them then it's very likely we get their lines. I could have avoided this by stunning him first, but I thought, I mean, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Still really good RNG, because he died to one execute. Oop, I'm scared shot, sorry about that. Uh, this guy is also an archer, or someone with high perception, because he, he saw me there. I couldn't stealth him either. That wasn't too bad. Um, what side am I on? Do I need to go left or right here? I think I need to go left with the Caragors. Yeah, left. Here, ideally, we pin him. Uh, didn't get it. And I could knock him down then. Okay, so that's really bad. That means he can, yep, instantly kill my Caragor. Come on, stop killing my Caragor, please. So that was really bad, unfortunately. Oh, should have gone for the execute then. I was being cautious because I needed to stun him first. So this is what happens when you get a beast master in here. It's really, really slow to fight them. Um, I also don't have any arrows to stop his, uh, to avoid a death defying line. Not that he should have one, since he's got a beast master attitude. Because that's way too many for an early game captain, even a legendary. But can't take that hit, otherwise I will go into red. Uh, this just might be his closing line. Yeah, closing line. So really good RNG on the two captains, even though I didn't get stealth on them either, both of them died really quickly, and then absolute garbage RNG on Hawk here. Glaive exists. Glaive does exist. I always forget about Glaive. I really need to get better at using Glaive in that split. When I panic, I forget about Glaive. I'll be honest. That's that's my one real big downfall there. Um, 
Um. You are 100% right though, my friend. Okay, let's take a look and see how we go here. Oh, didn't hit space there. So overall this run's still looking really positive. It could have been so much better, but I forgot the glaive existed. Um, the only problem with Glaive right there, not that this is an excuse, like Glaive was still the correct choice, is that it has a chance to trigger their opening lines because there is a point where we stop keeping them in the stun lock with Glaive. Okay, much better. Please let me free this guy. Don't tell Israel, go kill that guy. Uh, they, both, they both would have burned to death anyway, so there's no point here using that arrow. Okay, around this hut. Guy here. Thankfully it's raining, so the orc's visibility is actually reduced during the rain. Um, I think I've only got the guy up on this main tower left, and the guy who's around the corner. On doit quitter cet endroit infâme. What? Seven out of eight. Who did I miss? Oh, I missed one outside the camp. Oh, that is such a huge time waste. Which one did I miss? Hopefully the closest one. No, it's the furthest one. So there goes all my time save. Don't know how I missed this guy. I must have just been going really fast and just trying to be, yeah. Oh, I am not happy with myself after that. So that's that's a that's a good 40, 50 seconds loss there. You know, I can't even get any speed boosts. Now I'm getting frustrated. And I'm not thinking clearly, so that's bad. I thought I left him for Israel. No, you never leave him for Israel because Israel is stupid and does not pick up people like that. Now we're just going to try free sprinting up here. I think it's faster than Caragor still. We go wide here. And go straight for that. So, yeah. Like, that was a really fast caravan, so it doesn't look as bad as what it is, but that could have been so much faster. Um, that was a really fast before dawn before I screwed that up. Oh, a little bit grumpy with myself, but that's okay. Um, there's not a lot of time save left, to be honest. The I'm actually probably going to lose fight on the uh, Nazgul fight here, because I don't have as good weapon, plus I didn't get a red gem. Oh, that was a little bit of mismanagement there by me. Jump from the first fire straight to the second one. Yeah. No, nope, that was just me being making a mistake. Fair enough. Oh, 
Come on, man. Just give me the last elven rage. Thank you. Uh, we can't actually heal here. Um, because healing stops the timer and healing is slow. So I'm just going to have to play this on wire of no HP. I'm just gonna have to listen to the heartbeat for a while. Alright, I need to summon my Karagor in a second. I just wanna make sure old Drakey Boy is done firing at me before I do that. The last thing I wanna do is have him fire while uh, I'm building up my Karagor speed. Almost there with the might on the Karagor. Cool. Just sort of staying on the move to not get my Karagor hit by axes and to make sure my uh, my might stays full and I don't get knocked off my Karagor for any silly reason. No. So he's in a really dangerous position. Um, He's right on the border, but I've got to go for it. Cool, I got the dong straight away. I've got to go for it if I'm going to make up any time at all. Oh, I couldn't get off my car. i got to get that sword. That sword may have actually helped. Okay, so now we're going to Elven Rage. Once here is really rare and it's great. So hitting three at once is insane. And very rare. Thank you. get off it but I couldn't move with the car I can't move in that cutscene when I'm on a caragor for some reason it locks you up during that little bit. Um, I don't know why. You are right, you don't have to get off a caragor to get gear, but it does lock you up. Um, and I don't know why. But yeah if you get the donk on them you kind of stuck in position for half a second and that's enough not to be able to get that cutscene. Man this would have been world record. Had I just not got, had I got a better arena, this probably would have been world record for this this category. Had I not got a guy who enraged on me um, and killed my Karagor. But that's okay, my goal for tonight was a 44, and this, unless I royally screw up this run, is going to be a 44. It'll be a high 44, but it'll be a 44. Uh, I'm just disappointed in myself at this point, more than anything. Uh, and I've chewed up too much focus here, so this run's going to have a peasant run at the end of it. Yep, this is the peasant run. Oh no, I got my focus back just in time. 
and time. 44.47. So if I'd kept my pace up, uh, yeah, that would have been world record for this category. I don't know, I've got the enraged guy during the arena, but that's RNG for you.